Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 with Oasis. Let's keep it an open invitation then. I don't want to wait until the next person visits. It could be years. Just, just think about it, okay? No, no. Herbert is the I really don't want to kill him, but... It's the ultimate mercy for him. Sets me to do this. I always loved Harold. He was a great guy in the old games. I know why you're here, and despite what my wife thinks, I know you'll do what's best for Oasis. After all, he chose you, and he would never want to put us in harm's way. Fred Howell isn't a god. Oh, he's testing you now, just like he tested us. He wants to see if your faith is strong by spinning these incredible stories. Who else but a god? could produce all of this. Don't worry, you'll soon see things as I do. Yes, I've been pondering that little myself for some time now, and I think I know what he's trying to tell us. The Great One's influence is growing, and soon it will break free of the confines of this secluded veil. We can't allow Oasis to call attention to itself like that. It would be the end of him. Misinterpret his words, my friend. He wants you to extinguish that which seeks to make him vulnerable. If the same sap that you drank to purify yourself could be applied to his heart, it should stop the spread. I can promise you no harm would come to him. That's all I ask of you, outsider. Nothing more, nothing less.
what my husband wanted you to do. What I propose is an alternative. The same person that created the sand also created this liniment. If you can reach his heart, it will assist in making his influence increase. Instead of centuries, the wasteland will become green in mere decades. Just imagine how glorious that would be. Branch tender Cypress at your service. Welcome to our little home. Sure. Here you go. Good luck to you. Not doing anything you both want. Without Harold, the growth will continue to grow, but not at the accelerated rate, and Harold gets what he needs. Peace and freedom. Well, not well, freedom from his life. If there's an afterlife, he can go there. Oh god, there's a mile out, King. He's throwing a grenade. I think. Or not. What the fuck are you doing, Sharon? There's a mile out in there. Why is dog meat underwater? Can't attack whilst I'm underwater. Oh, okay. Thank you, Karen. Sharon. Karen. Oh, fuck, I don't know how to pronounce his name. He was happy. He <laughs> says, yay! Here's his heart, and we are going to destroy it. I've gained plus damage resistance for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid. Goodbye, Harold. <laughs>